Welcome back. The new NFL mobile football game is officially here. It is called NFL Rivals. You guys can go ahead and download this on iOS or Android. And if you can't find it, you can either type in NFL Rivals slash football game or you can go ahead and join my Discord server. And I have a link there where you guys can go into the NFL Rivals chat and it should be in the pinned messages. Just click the link and it should bring you to the download because for some reason, if you type in the game, it doesn't work but the link does it makes no sense but still you guys should be able to download it throughout that way so join the discord everything is in the link in the description and i hope that helps you download the game if you're having trouble but with that out of the way let's get into this i have played for a while now i've played like three plus hours on this game i have unlocked a lot of stuff i hit level five i've went through a whole season won the super bowl got some rewards throughout that my team is pretty good i've opened some packs i'm saving up coins we're gonna have over 13 thousand coins i have no gems because you can convert gems to coins so that's why i have so many coins but i'm gonna go on a whole nother season to get some more gems and coins up because tomorrow there is some draft stuff coming but this is my team on day one pretty decent they kind of have it like situated they did give everyone a jalen hurts brunskill and someone else they gave three players in the beginning just to get started i pulled jimmy g and i'm playing with him just to see how he plays I also pulled this Hopkins, which was pretty cool because I won the Super Bowl. I got a 90 plus pack and he was 96. You can only level up players five levels, though, which is not that bad. It's like the best card right now. I think getting like 90 pluses are kind of rare in this game because the packs, when you open packs, it's like 80s is the highest dish and you can barely pull them. So it's kind of leveled with the overall. There is high overalls in this game, though, when you go to the play now over to the draft event but i heard that the draft event players were pay to win where you have to spend money and it does open in 15 hours and a day these draft events but it does say one rare draft player or above is required to open it and then four draft players or above is required to you know open it which is required to enter it and play throughout it but i heard you will have to spend money to get these players and you can see there's a 117 st brown and a 127 kittle but then again, it is the start, and those are the top rewards, which are probably going to be so hard, as I was saying, maybe in the, you know, range where you can't even get them. Now, uh, the play now is actually really cool, but I want to go to that pretty soon. First, we're going to start over here to my left. You have your main little front office with your name, your level, your logo, your inventory, and your settings and all that. And then you got your squads, which is pretty interesting. I'm still kind of trying to figure out how this works, but you just join a squad with people and there's rewards in it. I think you have to play uh, throughout it to get rewards. Obviously, I haven't done it yet, though, so I really don't know. And then your achievements. Achievements you get by just playing throughout the game. And it can either be throughout the campaign seasons with your ultimate team and or any of the other events that has in store. The connect, I believe, is with your squads so your squads is with the connect because the, con the connect has this gold currency and the squads is with it it's still day one i'm still trying to get used to all this and then the shop the shop is uh pretty nice as i said there's draft stuff you see the draft events that are not out yet the draft packs are not out either and then you have gems which cost real money and it's like gems are like as you can say mad cash if you guys play madden mobile you would know that mad cash is you know worth money and you could take gems and trade them for coins which i actually did honestly 300 gems for 500 coins is pretty good to be fair and you know you can open some packs that are worth coins and you know if there's gems you can open the ones with gems i think gems are gonna be better like the pack value than coins but it just depends you have to always read what you're opening now into this your campaign and everything so you got your qualifying league and play through your offense events and all the events obviously there's events that will be happening throughout the days they have time limits on it and they have you know time limits on it if they haven't begun also which is probably for the newer content as in the draft but this is the coolest thing i think out of this you can play with your ultimate team it's a campaign uh i've as i said played throughout this did a whole season and won the super bowl got some good rewards and yeah i'm going throughout this again it's really fun to play throughout this it's kind of easy in a way to uh win it all but i feel like if you keep on going through some seasons it'll get harder and harder down the road 
and you obviously get a better team every time you go ahead and grind throughout seasons you get a ton of coins a ton of gems and that will just lead you to open more packs and have fun throughout the game i really love the game by the way let's go ahead and enter a game and let me do some gameplay why not just to end it off it's a very uh like nice format in a way where it's not too much where you'll get confused they have a couple events you have this uh season campaign and then you have the squads and stuff i feel like squads is a little bit more competitive in a way uh you also got that tap to sprint which is actually very useful make sure you guys always uh click tap to sprint either on a kick return or when you're throwing to receivers so you can hold the top of the screen when you throw to throw a deep ball and then tap as soon as you catch it like the sprint tap the skills thing in the middle the sprint right away so you can sprint away and get some extra yards and they don't tackle you right away which is great so yeah never hold the thing never drag it right away you want to drag it once the o-lineman is coming towards you so it slows down so you have a better shot at aiming to your target i've been playing for a long time already and i'm actually pretty good at the game i'm not gonna lie so oh wow incomplete i feel like it lagged on me a little bit there maybe it was my phone that was weird but there we go nice there's also celebrations like that that's one of them the blow up football there's also one when they jump on the goal post hit the moonwalk i think it's a pretty nice little cartoonish style arcade football game in a way i'm not gonna make that two point they're all standing there like npcs there is definitely some stuff that could be fixed i believe throughout you know the gameplay and the movement a little bit obviously feedback will help it a ton so we'll have to wait and see what happens in a couple weeks to a month or maybe more you never know what can happen but to be fair the gameplay is pretty nice it's fun to mess around with it's a cartoonish goofyish kind of look which is uh pretty nice i like a lot of these games like cartoonish and like goofy like the celebrations are goofy in a way uh how they move sometimes is goofy like when they run to score like a touchdown when it's like a big pass sometimes they skip and it's, it's weird and all that but there's my deandre hopkins wearing that touchdown right there look at that little celebration look at that that's nice so yeah also running is pretty good you can run and also like spam the skill to run oh wow look my whole thing just bopped him got a pal on there look he's jumping up on the goal line to celebrate so there's your little example and that's gonna do it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy that is nfl rivals it's actually a really good game i'm not gonna forfeit that i'm just gonna stop playing for now but hopefully you guys did enjoy and uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one